Prince Philip had a quote, brutal nickname for Meghan Markle that he never said to her face. And this has been revealed in a new Mirror article today. So the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, apparently used a nickname with a historical reference for Meghan Markle as he was reportedly wary and pointed out that she would be disruptive for the royal family, according to a royal expert, who has also said that the nickname was rather brutal. So Prince Philip, of course, passed away back in 2021, three years ago now, but he was reportedly wary of Meghan Markle for a long time and, according to this, drew comparisons between her and Wallace Simpson, the Duchess of Windsor and the wife of the former King Edward VIII. And, of course, her intention to marry King Edward and her status as being a divorced woman already caused this constitutional crisis and led to Edward VIII abdicating and moving to Paris with Wallace Simpson. And she is not a very popular figure at all in royal circles, and indeed with myself as well, I'm not a big fan of Wallace Simpson, but the fact that Prince Philip drew comparisons between her and Meghan Markle is quite prescient, really, and uh, it is quite significant because of this big and negative figure that she is in in royal circles. The comparisons, of course, include that both women are American, they were both divorced when they married into the royal family, and comparisons between the two have been highlighted before, but Philip was said to have pointed out the likeness explicitly with this nickname for Meghan Markle, though it was never outwardly told to her, of course. So, royal expert and biographer Ingrid Seward said that he saw similarities between Meghan Markle and Wallace Simpson, the late Duchess of Windsor, and dubbed her with a nickname linking the two women using Wallace Simpson's royal title. Indeed, speaking to GB News, Ingrid Seward said, quote, I think Prince Philip was very canny about people and he didn't always see the bad in them. He tried to see the good in them, but I think he just couldn't get away from the fact that there were similarities between Meghan and Harry and Edward and Mrs. Simpson. She added that there were so many similarities, which is why he used to call her the Duchess of Windsor. I mean, not to her face, we used to call her Dow, as in the word D-O-W, the abbreviation for the Duchess of Windsor, Dow. In her book, the royal expert also wrote that the late prince, Philip, was wary of the former Suits actress as she explained, quote, One of the few wary of succumbing to Meghan Markle's charm offensive was Prince Philip. From the moment he detected her apparent similarity to Wallace, he referred to her as Dow, or D-O-W. She added that Prince Philip had earmarked Meghan as disruptive for the royal family, but his wife and the late Queen Elizabeth II was optimistic and had high hopes for Meghan. Which just shows the character of the Queen. She was so welcoming to Meghan Markle and so hopeful that she'd be a great asset to the monarchy, but Prince Philip almost had this prescience that he managed to see past this from Meghan Markle and he could tell that she wasn't going to be good for the royal family, unfortunately. Meghan and Harry then, of course, stepped back from the royal family in 2020 and left the UK to live in California, where they currently reside with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, and whilst Harry will visit the UK next month to celebrate 10 years of the Invictus Games, it's thought that Meghan Markle will stay in the United States amid, quote, safety concerns and not wanting to attract drama while visiting the UK. Meghan has, of course, rarely made a return to the UK anyway, since the pair stepped back from their royal duties in 2020 but only on special occasions she came over, including the Queen's funeral in 2022, but she didn't come back for King Charles III's coronation last year, which Prince Harry attended alone. So Meghan Markle, of course, trying to seem like she's the better person, staying away from drama, but this is all just a facade. Of course, we know that she loves the cameras, she loves being in the news headlines, she loves the drama, but anyway, yes, they apparently want a fresh start in 2024. So, just wanted to go over this story quickly. I thought it was fascinating that Prince Philip had this kind of behind-the-scenes nickname for Meghan Markle, referring to Wallace Simpson and how they were both disruptive for the royal family, and I think that's fascinating. And, of course, you could say it's also part of Prince Philip's classic dry humour. He was a very witty man, and so this prescience that he could see right through Meghan Markle is kind of satisfying for a lot of royal fans as well. And that's all according to a royal expert. So, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I also have now unlocked memberships on my channel and Super Chats, so if you would like to contribute to helping me continue to create these videos, a membership is just $2.99 a month and you get some exclusive perks there, so make sure to check that out as well by clicking the join button on my account. But yes, let me know your thoughts in the comments while you're there, make sure to like and subscribe as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching.